All right, what's up you guys? Welcome and welcome back to my channel. I am Scribbles, the artist and crocheter behind Eclectic Scribbles, and we are starting the What I Crochet in February part two video. So I am gonna tell you that I have done a couple of things today, um, not crocheted yet or whatever. I'm about to do that. But what I have done is taken a look at my inventory sort of on my um, Google sheet and written down above each one of these little spots that I have for my bins, how many I need to fill up my bins for Wilmington. So this is just Wilmington. This is not Wilmington, Lexington and um, Richmond. This is just filling up my bins for Wilmington. So I have got a lot to do and not a lot of time to do it. <laughs> We're on the back half, so we've got a couple of weeks left, and that's pretty much it. Um, on my top row, I need 10. Now the bird's going to start chirping. I need 10 mini flockers in the Parfait Chunky, and I need three more mini flockers in the Sweet Snuggles Light. I can definitely come close to getting that done, if not done tonight. I need five more Sweet Snuggles Light Tiny Turtles. And then I need a bunch of opossums. That is the top of that list. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the flockers and see if I can't knock out the flockers and maybe add in a couple of little chunky frogs and little worry octos as well because I do need a lot of those. So that is gonna be my focus to start. If I have time, I will move on to tiny turtles because that is the next one on my thing. So if I have time, I will move over to Tiny Turtles. And if not, we'll work on Tiny Turtles tomorrow. So mini flockers, I'm just going to do one color designs. So they're just going to be cute little one color birdies. And I am going to, to get started on that. I will let you know how far I get on that. All right, you guys, so the last time I updated you was about five o'clock. It is just before eight o'clock now, so that took me about three hours, but I have 10 of the mini flockers done. So we've got two purple, we've got two red, we have got two blue. Get my face out of the way. Two blue, focus on the blue, there they are. Um, two yellow. And two black. So that is 10. So I can go ahead and I can mark that off my list. I think what I'm going to do next is make a couple of the tiny turtles and get some of those marked off my list. Um, I only have, I think, like three tiny turtles. And I already have like eight of the large mini flockers. So I am going to, I'm going to sort of go off towards the tiny turtles right now. So it, it can sort of even itself out. So I am going to work on, I have five tiny turtles on my list. We'll see if I can get five done in two hours. Cause I think I'm going to stop about 10, but we'll see what happens. So I will update you before the end of the night. All right, you guys, it is 9.20, and I have got three, three turtles. I use my new um, Sweet Snuggles Light um, Bloom, Bloom Yarns. I use three different ones, so I use this pretty one, sort of look like roses. I use this pretty green one with the yellow flecks in it, and then this pink one with the green and yellow flecks in it, so... Um, I will put eyeballs on them tomorrow. I am tired. My hands are tired. And I am going to go have a cuddle. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go snoodle on the couch and get buried under four very large dogs. So, I'm going to do that and watch some TikToks for a little bit. And I will see you guys tomorrow. What up, you guys? So, I have got a little while before I am going over to my mother's house to celebrate my oldest two sons' birthday. We're having their birthday dinner today. And um, so, I figured I would show you what I got done last night. So, today is Saturday the 17th, I think it is. Um, I made 
four Worry Octos. Here's three, four. And these were the two colors I had in my hands last night first. And then I made four Chunky Frogs. Chunky Frogs. And then I made four of these. I made four possums. So this is the burnout blanket yarn. So yeah, that's what I made last night. I am not going to work on a whole lot this morning. I think I may make a couple of chicken bodies or something while I'm passing the time until it's time for me to leave. Um, but I will definitely be working when I get back this afternoon. Um, yeah, I think that's all I that's all I know about that. Um, excuse the drown rat look, but you know, bitches gotta be clean, right? <laughs> I don't know why I tell you to excuse it. I'm like, either excuse it or don't excuse it. I don't care. I'm clean. I don't really don't care. <laughs> Anyways, I'm a crazy person and that's fine. <sighs> I'm tired. I did not get any sleep last night. I have not gotten any sleep for the past couple of nights because... I was waiting for my doctor to approve, damn bird, I was waiting for my doctor to approve my refills for my sleep meds, so I have been trying to dose myself with melatonin to get to sleep, and this shit ain't working, <laughs> so I seem a little, that's because I'm a little, you know, so anyways, I'll talk to y'all in a little bit. All right, you guys, so it is February 19th, 19th, it is February 19th, and I, it's 7.53, um, I stuffed three of these chicken bodies in my favorite colorway, so this is the lighter one, um, I stuffed two chicken bodies in this Loops and Threads seed pearl color, it's sort of a yellowy, creamy color, um, it's not my favorite, but it's definitely good for the chickens so it's all good and then I made three more baby or five more five more little baby possums in burnet blanket and burnet baby blanket um the combination the white is baby blanket the pink is blanket in tan pink the gray that I'm using today is blanket in vapor gray and then white and black white and black um, the black is burnet blanket. So the only one that is actually, no, I thought it was baby blanket, but the white is a uh, burnet blanket as well. So I got five of these little dudes. I didn't get any art done today. So I'm going to take some time and work on some art now instead of doing more crochet. So that's what we're looking like for right now is that I got 10 little things done today and I'll put over in my box. I also need to get all of the stuff done for the voodoo dolls. Um, they need eyeballs and stitching. So I plan to work on that tomorrow. Um, if you saw the previous clip, I had the, I had that, um, just bandage on me so that I didn't scratch at a little bit of poison, but lucky me, um, I just sent my doctor a message online and they sent me the cream that they'd sent me last year. It's called Trium, Trium Cinnalone. Trium Cinnalone. There we go. That's the name of the cream. If anybody is ever wondering, um, this worked amazing for the outbreak that I had last year about this time where both of my arms were extremely covered. So that's what I've got to treat my little bit of poison. So I'm already feeling a little bit better. It takes the itch out, like it takes the itch out pretty, pretty quickly. Um, and then you put it on twice a day and it clears it up fairly quickly too. So Good deal. I'm going to do some art and I am going to close out the night doing that, I think, because, um, yeah, I'm in an art, art kind of mood. All right. Well, what's up, you guys? I got a little package in the mail from Joanne today. So I'll open it up while I talk to you about yesterday. So today is two, today's Wednesday. 
Today's Wednesday, possibly. 21st. It's the 21st. That's all I know. Is that it's Wednesday and the 21st. <laughs> Or possibly Wednesday and definitely the 21st. Anyways, um, last night I didn't do a whole lot of crochet. Um, my hands were a little tired yesterday. But I did manage to make five possums. Five possums. So I added five of these to my little box back there. Um, today I got in Big Twist Posh in... No, 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 no in color earl gray and in the color blueberry jam um they were having a sale and all of the yarn for big twist posh was freaking sold out except for i think black and these two colors blue and gray that's all you get um, so I went ahead and got them while they were on sale and I will just wait until I guess they get back in stock. Um, as for today, I am definitely going to be doing some crochet. I think, I think for today I'm going to make some funky chickens. And when I say funky chickens, I mean, I think I'm going to make some just oddball color chickens, like a blue one and a pink one. And a purple one. And just have some oddball color chickens. And, and see where we're at with that. Yeah, I think that's what I want to do. Um, so I'm going to make some odd color chickens today. And I'm probably just going to work on chickens today. I'm also probably just going to do bodies. And see how many bodies that I can bust out while I'm sitting here watching the end of Buffy. Um, and I think the next show I'm going to start is going to be Downton Abbey again, but I have to figure out which streaming service it's on so I can figure out where the hell to watch it. But, um, yeah, I think, I think today's going to be about the funky chicken, funky chickens, uh, for sure. So, yeah, I'm going to go make some chickens. I've kind of tempted to make a little chicken, but I'm not sure yet. Trying to figure out what I want to make with the big twist posh. And I'm undecided at the moment. Alright you guys. It is Thursday now. And I got the second half of my Joann's order in. Which were these two colors in Bernat Blanket. This one is Seafoam. Which is really pretty. And I don't think I have any Seafoam. But it's going to be great to go with my favorite green to do some turtles. And this one is probably like a country blue, dusk blue, dusk blue, which is really nice. Um, another one that I haven't had before, I'm trying to sort of stock up on my um, Bernat blanket solids because I use a lot of variegated. I don't use a lot of solids, um, but I have been wanting to make more stuff with Bernat Blanket. So I'm trying to build up my, my solids with that. So I have a nice um, variety of colors, but this is gonna go great with this, the one that I got. And um, yeah, this is gonna match my favorite green variegated that I use for, um, my leggy frogs and stuff so i'm excited to use that bubba is very excited to go to his first convention he just doesn't know it yet ain't that right bubba ain't that right anyways i'm gonna make some funky chickens i started last night making chicken bodies and then i got tired and took a nap and it was the worst mistake i could have made last night because it was nighttime already and there was no i had no business trying to go to sleep so last night i made one two three four five six chicken bodies i made six chicken bodies and i started a voodoo doll so i have two arms and one leg of a voodoo doll and then i decided to go to bed so i'm going to finish the voodoo doll first and then i am going to probably make a seafoam chicken and maybe a blue chicken and then i think i'm going to make some turtles he just burped um i think i'm going to make some turtles with butt cheeks so we'll see We'll see how that goes. He's like snoring. All right. 
it's about five minutes till six and I got this little dude all put together and done. So got a new body for um for my voodoo dolls. I really need to finish these off, so I'll probably do that sometime this weekend. Um get all of their little stitches and their eyes and everything done. But the body is done and ready to add to my pile. So I'm gonna work on some turtles, I think, next. All right. So it's 719. This took me about 45, 50 minutes, something like that. And he is made out of the burnout blanket yarn. So he came out really, really big. The uh, the sea foam that I got was the old formula formulation. So it's a little bit more substantial than the new formulation, the softer burnout blanket. So I definitely had a harder time sort of stretching this around his body, but still super cute. He came out really, really, really cute. I don't know if I want to do them more in this size or if I want to do them in some parfait chunky instead. Um, and set up a little turtle making station where you can choose your turtle's body and then you can choose his shell. Um, that's an idea. So people can sort of like customize their turtle. But I think this one I'm going to leave like this. And he's got his little butt cheeks underneath, which are super cute. And... I don't know. I kind of want to see what size it would come out if I did it in, um, if I did it in Parfait Chunky. I also kind of want to make a couple of cows. Tonight's a random night, I think. Um, I did get in like those three, um, those three skeins of, uh, white. They're up there. This three skeins of um white that I was waiting on of the sweet snuggles lights that I could make some cows so I think I'm gonna at least make one cow because I have one cow already but cows tend to be pretty popular so I wanted to have more than one but now I'm running low on the baby blanket white or the blanket white and I'm gonna go to Walmart tomorrow so I'll probably pick some up there <sighs> Hopefully, if I can find it, uh, they're apparently in the process of remodeling that entire Walmart, but I don't really feel like driving across town, so hopefully, hopefully they have some. They usually do, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue, but I think I'm going to grab some of the, some of that, and I'm going to make maybe a strawberry cow. I've got pink, so... I might make a strawberry cow. I think that would be kind of cute. So I am going to, I think I'm going to, I'm going to do that next. I'm going to go in and make a cow. So we'll see how long that takes. Here's our little strawberry heart cow. I don't know if it was me or the pattern, but the heart pattern didn't really line up right as far as counting was concerned. Like I had to figure out this heart all by myself um yeah it just didn't line up right so who knows but anyways here is a little heart cow little strawberry cow whatever you want to call it um super cute i think i'll do a purple one as well although i don't think i'm going to do it tonight this one took me a lot longer than it should have because i pulled out the biggest ball of yarn barf from my new sweet snuggles light and i uh, had to spend quite a bit of time uh, untangling it, which was no fun at all. I'm also running out of stuffing. I think I'm going to have to pick up some polyfill on at Walmart tomorrow as well. I'll see if they have another 10 pound bag. Usually they do, but if they are box, usually they do. If they don't have a 10 pound box at the store, I'll just order it online. Being as though I had my nap last night um, for like a couple of hours, I got up at 10. I made a couple more chicken bodies. I tried to go lay back down and was literally tossing and turning until about four o'clock this morning and then got up at nine um because everybody in the house was freaking out because their breakfast was late um i am a little bit tired tonight so i may just 
call it quits here and go have my cuddle um, because apparently somebody, I'm not mentioning anybody's names, um, knows that when we leave the room now, we go for the cuddle before we go to bed. And so he runs in there and jumps up on the couch in preparation for the cuddle. <laughs> which is adorable and so annoying all at the same time. But anyways, um, yeah, he's ready for his cuddle and it's okay. I love a good cuddle. They keep me, they keep me in love. Uh, wait for my husband to come home from the road. So you can see his little booty cheeks. Ooh. You can see the look. Boop, boop. You can see the little booty cheeks. <laughs> I do think I want to make more turtles tomorrow, but I do think that I'll probably make them out of parfait chunky and see how far that gets me. I do want to make a couple more dragons too. Like how stinking cute is this little one? I think it's stinking cute. So I do maybe want to make another few dragons. Um, I'm making mostly big stuff for the rest of the month. I've got, uh, I've got quite a bit in small stuff and I'm trying to make things that are, I would charge $20 and up for because I would like to keep my price point and the stuff that I take to convention in that $20 range. Like if somebody's going to buy something, I like to keep it at the $20 range for them to have a purchase option. Um, not that I don't carry the smaller stuff because I do, but it just, in the long run, it comes out, it makes the convention costs worth it. Um, because I'm paying up to, uh, up to $1,500 per 10 by 10 booth, you know, or eight by 10 booth. I'm paying $1,500 just to table there. So I have to make it worth it. I have to make back that 1500 and then I have to make back all of the costs associated with making this stuff. I have to be able to pay myself for making the stuff. I have to pay my bills. <laughs> um, I just, so it, the costs have to really outweigh, I mean, I have to pay for lodging and hotel on in the, these next three, the next three, I have to pay for hotel. Um, I've got a $300 hotel bill in Wilmington, a $600 hotel bill in Lexington. I have something, something startled bleach. So she's up. Um, anyways, and then I have to, um, I still have yet to book one for Richmond because Richmond is really trying to make me cry, um, or at least my bank account cry, and, uh, it's going to be somewhere in the neighborhood of six, seven hundred as well. The hotels in Richmond are ridiculous, ridiculous, but anyways, so, Jesus, somebody farted. So I have to cover all of that and then profit, then cover costs and then profit, then cover costs and pay me and then profit so that I could pay my bills. And it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. So as fun as the little $5 and $10 items are, they're not going to pay the bill. Um, so yeah, bigger items need to be up for grabs but this little dude is super cute this is that little free pattern it's a free dragon pattern um on instagram it's it's freaking adorable um i i can't complain about this little pattern at all um it's just it's it's super freaking cute it's just it's super cute anyways i think that's gonna be all the talking that i'm gonna do for now um i'm gonna go have my cuddle have my cuddle, I think. Yep, that's gonna be it's gonna be the night for me. All right, y'all. Let's do a Walmart haul. I finally made it to Walmart today, so this is the yarn that I got. And then I have the remaining package from Joann's. I don't know why they send five balls of yarn in three different packages. It's a little bit ridiculous. But anyways, this is what I got. 
I got some more of this because I go through this like crazy and I don't think I have any more of this one. Oh, I have one more. I have one more of this one, but it's so soft. I love it. I love it so much. I got this one and I thought it was the newer texture, but it's not. Um, maybe it is. I don't know. It still feels fairly soft. I have to excuse the noise in the background. The dogs are being absolutely crazy. Um, this is a brand that I haven't used. This is Mainstay's Cozy Chenille Yarn. It basically, it feels like a thinner Bernat blanket. Um, it is listed at, uh, as a super bulky six. Recommend an eight millimeter hook. Um, so yeah, similar to Bernat blanket, but let's see, here's this up close. And then here's this burnout blanket alongside of it. It feels, uh, it looks a little thinner to me. A little thinner. Um, definitely soft. Um, not as soft as the the new formula. I mean, it's still pretty soft though. And I don't think it's going to shed like the other ones shed. I don't know how many colors there are in this, but they had this white and, and this, which feels like a completely different texture to this. This feels more like the new Burnout Blanket than anything else. So this colorway it's 220 yards or 10.5 ounces, 300 grams, 201 meters, all that good stuff. Um, this one is, I had the name on her somewhere, uh, multi teal. This one is multi teal, and this one is blue multi, blue multi. So they're not very, you know, um, they're not very extra with their names. I got a cream. This is vintage white, not a cream, vintage white burnout blanket. So uh, for cows. And then I got two white burnout blankets because I needed more white and burnout blanket for my cows. And that is it for my Walmart trip. It wasn't a huge haul today, but it was, it was the trip I've been meaning to make. I'll put these away here in just a minute. Let's get Joanne's out. Joanne's is not going to be very exciting because it is literally just a bowl, uh, a ball of white posh. I don't know where my little, no bubba, down bubba, ow. that I brought in specifically to use in here because I didn't have a little box cutter and now I've lost it. Go figure. Voila. White posh. That's all. I still haven't used this, but now that I have the white, I think I'm going to make some little whales or some little sharks out of it. And um, I think that that'll make nice, cute little cute little keychains so i've got a gray i've got a blue and i've got a black and now i've got a white so yay um hopefully i will be shopping with them soon i just have to um i wanted to make sure that the colors came back into stock i still haven't actually used it yet so i am going to use it before i order any more but this feels nice and soft i don't think i'm going to have any issues working with it. Everybody else seems to really enjoy it, so I don't see why I wouldn't. It doesn't have any scratchiness or anything to it, which is what sort of turns me off from yarns, so feels good. Anyways, um, what else is on tap? I'm, it's already late tonight because I did the Walmart run, and then I did a little bit of cleanup around the house. Um, the dogs are going to drive me crazy. I was gone for an hour, hour and a half, something like that to make my Walmart run. And they chewed on the linoleum 
in the floor. That was fun. Um, so now I'm not 100% sure what to do with that. Um, there's a section of floor that we had pulled up there are little tiles from and we're considering replacing, but now I'm just like, whatever. And so there was linoleum underneath when we redid the house, when I moved in 10 years ago, 11 years ago, whatever. Um, and there was a spot that was worn, worn down and it had a little gap in it. And apparently while I was gone today, they thought, well, let's eat it. Let's make it a big gap um, and show you some subfloor. And I just, I want to scream a little bit. Also, um, I know who the guilty party is. He's right here beside of me. He's right here. This is the guilty party. Get down, buddy. Get down. This is the guilty party who also took my new sandwich press machine. My brand new little sandwich press that makes your sandwiches all grilled and cut in a triangle or whatever. <laughs> took it out back and started to eat it. I brought it back in and I'm going to have to see if it is still functioning or if I'm going to have to go buy another little new sandwich press. I just, I want to, to murder him a little bit sometimes because, yeah, he's just trying to drive me crazy. He is so destructive and he didn't used to be. He didn't used to be destructive at all. He didn't do anything. He didn't really step out of line at all. He had that surgery um, where we dug that thing out of his stomach, the squeaky toy. And ever since then... Ever since then, he has picked things up off my counter. If I leave it on the counter and he can paw at it and get it, he will eat it. He will take it out back and he will eat it. And I just, you know what? I just want to scream because I was going to make me a sandwich tonight. So I didn't bother putting it back in. I'm like, he wouldn't eat the sandwich maker. That's crazy. That's, that's not a thing that he would do. Bullshit. Bullshit. It is a thing he would do. It's an exact thing he would do. He did it. And, uh, so, yeah, it's been great and absolutely wonderful. Um, now I gotta figure out what to do with my floor and eventually eat myself because I haven't eaten yet. I'm not hungry, so I'm gonna do that later. What am I gonna do tonight? I think I'm gonna make some, some turtles with some butt cheeks in Parfait Chunky. I think that's gonna be the, the, the move tonight is butt cheeks butt cheek turtles. I want to time myself um, and see how long it takes me to make them with parfait chunky and weigh it out and do all of that stuff. So I think I will do that. I want to make a couple more dragons um, because I didn't time myself with the first one. And so I need to time it and weigh it out and all of that good stuff so that I can put that into my, um, my pricing calculator and load it into my, my inventory for for show. So, yeah, that's where we're standing right now. So, that's what I'm going to work on tonight. I think I'm good on chickens for a minute. I can always make chicken bodies at Wilmington to have for Lexington. So, I'm not 100, I, I'm good on chickens right now. I'm not going to focus on chickens anymore. I'm going to focus on, on the other stuff. I'm going to focus on um, some of my pricier items like the cows and the, the dragons and the, um, butt cheek turtles. So that's where we're at. Anyways, I will update you later. All right. So I just got done eating, but I wanted to show you our little butt cheek froggy. Okay. So let's break this down a little bit. Um, I feel like these kinds of things are, are more informational than just me saying, hey, look, I did it, okay, and then being done with it. So, hey, look, I did it, but here's the thing. These things are super cute. I absolutely love the look and, and everything of this pattern. It's adorable. You take the little shell off, you get the little butt cheeks. Fantastic. Okay, here's the problem that I have with it. And it's nothing to do with the actual pattern or the plushie itself. It is what it takes to make this pattern. So, let's start with the basics. Um, Parfait Chunky is the most expensive of the yarns that I use per 
per gram or per per yard per meter whatever parfait chunky is the most expensive that i use um i used a total of 23 grams of parfait chunky for the entire turtle okay so that is three dollars and 54 cents for just the, the yarn i used 13 grams of polyfill which is 19 cents I used a uh, 12 millimeter black eyes. Okay. I have built in um, a, a charge of $3.75 as my, this is what it's going to take to either cover my show costs or my market costs or uh, running my website and my business. That is just the amount that I tack on to um, just, that's just the amount that I tack on to prices um, when I'm figuring them up, okay? It took me 40 minutes total to make. It took me exactly 30 minutes to make the body. Um, and then it took me exactly 10 minutes to make the back. Um, so what we're looking at here is a total wage for me. I charge $20 an hour for my time and my expertise because I have been crocheting for 30 some years. Um, so it's $13.33 just in my wage for this little dude right here. Okay. It is $17.78 once you factor in all of the other, um, all of the other costs. So that is um, the base price for the eyes, the polyfill, and the parfait chunky. That's your base cost, okay? Then once you put your markup on it, which my markup is generally somewhere between 50 and 70% for retail and 20 to 30% for wholesale, you get um, a base suggested price of $30.23. I think I'm going to give this... Um, this version of the pricing calculator, I think I'm going to give it to my patrons for the month of March. Um, but anyways, $30.23 is the suggested base price. <clears throat> if we add in the $375, which I generally do to cover costs across the board, um, because like I said, some, some of these things I spend $1,500 on a booth, you know? Some of them, are, most of them are in the 1000 range, 600 to 1000 range. Um, but we have gone as high as 1500 So, if we add that on, the suggested show price is $36.61. That is, that's a lot. <laughs> um, that is a lot. My base, wholesale, or my suggested wholesale price is $23.12. Um, this little dude, okay, this little dude is like five inches tall ish like five maybe six inches tall he's he he's small he's small um and charging 36 dollars for something this small i have a hard time with um for a lot of reasons a lot of people are gonna pick this up and be like 36 bucks i don't think so um, even if I round it down to 35, 35 bucks, I uh, don't think so. <laughs> um, so if we look at the base suggested price of $30.23 and I just charge $30 for this little man, that's still a big ask for me. Um, of course, obviously he's handmade. He is, you know, he is a representation of the skill that I bring to this. But do I feel comfortable making a ton of these for my markets or my conventions and charging $30 for them? Um, and the answer to that one is no. So, while I do enjoy this pattern very much, I enjoy this pattern, um, I will charge $30 for him because that is, that is my base cost. That is my base. Um, I will charge $30 for him, but he will only be available on my website. Um, the burnout blankets, I didn't measure everything out, but I was planning to do 40 for the burnout blanket version of this dude, which is a little bit more, 
is it a little bit easier for me and probably anybody else looking at it uh, a better price to swallow because it's it's a lot larger it is a lot larger and people feel like they're getting more for their money and they're more likely to spend forty dollars on something this big than thirty dollars on something this big <laughs> anyways I love him. He's super cute. There's nothing wrong with this pattern. I think it is freaking adorable. And you can make a bunch of different, um, you can make a bunch of different little shells and change them out. And he can have his little butt cheeks hanging out, you know, sometimes. And that would be super cute. But yeah, he's going to be a website deal. I will make, um, I will make a listing where you can custom order him in whichever color you like. I'm going to be working on those listings um, when I get back in March. Um, if you want one sooner than that, just email me. It's Just email me and go, hey girl, I would love to have it. Um, and we'll get together on it. I just don't have time between now and my three shows to actually do that. But... I'm going to photograph everything and I'm going to get pictures up and I'm going to get the yarn choices up and all of that good mess and they will be available for purchase between March and April probably because um, I don't have I have two conventions in April. Um, it's going to be a little less hectic for me because they're slightly smaller conventions but anyways so if you want this little dude just let me know hit me up and go I want him I would love to have him. He's going to be 30 bucks um, because that's what I have in him. And if you want the bigger one, the bigger one is going to be 40. Um, if you want custom colors, yeah, just let me know. So he's going to be available on the website. I am not going to make any more of these tonight because, again, it's not going to be a market or convention prep thing for me. And that's what I need to focus on is the convention prep side of things. So... I think the next thing that I'm going to make is going to be another dragon. I did the dragon in Sweet Snuggles Light, and I plan to do the dragon in Sweet Snuggles Light again because if I do it in Parfait Chunky, we are going to, we're going to run into the same problem, I believe, um, with it just not being worth it. But I may try it. I may try it in Parfait Chunky and see what we come up with. But I did really love the size of the Sweet Snuggles Light. I may even try it in Knocks You Down. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But thank you. Thank you so much. Could you, could you not? You're going to knock them over again. Anyways, down, down, buddy. Down, buddy. Down, buddy. Anyways, I'm gonna I may try it in burnout blanket. Um I've got some cute colors that I think um would look nice with burnout blanket, but for right now I think I'm gonna do another parfait chunky and and see where we end up with that. I think it'll be cute. Okay, you guys, it's 9 30. It's probably gonna be my last update for the night. And here we have cute little dragon. So I wanted to talk to you about the same thing about prices for these items and why I think some items are better for market prep and for convention prep and why some aren't as as doable. Sorry, I had changed the wrong things on my stuff. All right, so we're going to talk about the flying dragon here. I did this in Sweet Snuggles Light. Um, so, in comparison to the Little Butt Cheek Turtle in Parfait Chunky, it's a little bit bigger because, obviously, it, this is a seven weight and this is a six weight yarn. Um, so, you can see the difference in size from for these guys or whatever. Um, so, let's talk about what I used. Sweet Snuggles Light, I used 40 grams of yarn which comes out to $2.16. So remember the Parfait Chunky, I used 23 grams of it and it was $3.54. So that's the difference in pricing as far as the yarn is concerned. So this is $2.16, all right? 22 grams of polyfill is 33 cents. Um, and then I used 12 millimeter black eyes, which are 72 cents. So. Those are the costs that go into this. It took me 45 minutes to make it and put it together. Um, wings included. This is no sew completely. 
from head to tail except for the wings. You do have to sew the wings on in this. And you just sew these two little horn dudes. The two little horns. You just you just sew those on. So it's not a big deal. It takes like two seconds to do the horns. All right. So the total wage for this is $15. It took 45 minutes. Um, and the base calculated price, everything included, would be $18.21. We were at $17.78 with the little butt cheek frog and par parfait chunky. So, after my markup, this is showing at $30.95. And this, my husband's calling me. Hold on. Anyways, I just got off the phone with my hubs. Um, so, where were we? We were at, this takes 45 minutes to make. That's $15 before any of my costs are added in. It is $18.21 after the materials are added in. And that is after the markup and the $3.75 that I put to cover my costs, uh, that gives us a total of $37.33 or without the $3.75. Um, let's just go with that gives us a total of $30.95 after my markup. So, I think that's got everything included in it anyways. Um, so, we're looking at $30. I would probably put this in the neighborhood of $35. Um, I, keep, I keep messing with stuff. I've got to stop doing that. Anyways, $35 would be probably what I charge for this little dude right here. So, $30. $35. This takes a little bit less time to make. This takes a little bit more time to make. But this is where we're sitting with this. And I think that this is a fairly decent ask for markets because it's bigger. And so I think that people have less of a problem spending the money that they have on a bigger item. So this is... You know, I showed you them side by side. This is a bigger thing. So it's easier for them to part with their $35 than it would be for them to part with their $30. I hope that makes sense. So this is something that I would make for markets in within reason. Like, I'm not going to make 15 of them. I might make five total and take those to markets or something. And they'll probably last me a while because still, people... When they're out shopping, don't really love to go too far above the $20 range and unless they're just out to shop. They got shopping money and they're ready to go. Um, but the general public will like to stay around that $20, $25 mark if they can for one item, for one item. If they get two items, then they're fine with spending the $40, $50, depending upon how much the item is. But for one item... They're going to be more likely to spend $20 and under than they are $20 and over or $21 and over. Um, but this little dude right here, $35. So this makes two that I have of these little guys. And I am going to add that to my count. And I'm going to figure out how to display it because um, I'm going to be using the eight foot table that I have. So yeah, it's going to be different the setup this time for me. Anyways. I can't stop yawning. I'm tired. I am uh, going to call it quits for tonight. So I didn't get a whole heck of a lot done. As you've seen, I've got literally two things done. <laughs> two, two, two things done tonight. And that is it. But yeah, we're going to call it quits here. And uh, hopefully I can get some more done tomorrow night. Listen for the, listen for the witchy snores. Isn't it cute? It's adorable. What up, my dudes? Okay, so it is Saturday the 24th, uh, about 10.20, and I am wrapping up for this evening. I am in the same sweatshirt as yesterday. Don't judge me, or do judge me. Who cares? Anyways, moving past it. I did this one a little bit wrong. <laughs> I forgot to add one of my rows in. So this one's got pug nose and then this one's got regular nose. Um, and then I made this dragon, 
which I did the way I normally crochet, which I use the yarn over technique. But here lately, I have been sort of switching it up, going back and forth between yarn over and yarn under. And I did these two with the yarn under technique. Look at them. Aren't they super cute? But I'm kind of digging the yarn under. I mean, it was easy enough for me to switch because of the way that I crochet. It just is a little extra movement for me, like a loop, a loop under instead of loop over. And so it's really not that big of a change. But I will say that I have noticed quite a change in the way the stitches look. So these are the, are these called the X stitches and these are called the Y stitches. These stitches are tighter, so your, your plush does come out the tiniest bit smaller. I think you can see the size difference there. Yeah, a little bit. So the plushes are going to come out a little bit smaller because your tension is going to be a little bit tighter with this. Um, or the actual stitches are going to be a little bit tighter with this. But they're just... They're kind of more well-defined. I mean, if you can see it, these are like X stitches. I think these are called Y stitches. Um... It looks a little neater to me. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I kind of, I'm kind of jumping on the yarn under board. Like my big purple hippo that I did, I did that with the yarn under because it was an all from Jade pattern. And I'm like, okay, well, so I'll do the yarn under and see how it looks. And it looks good. It looks good. And now I'm like, yarn under. Okay. Super cute. It, look, it just, I don't know what it is. It just looks a little bit neater, um, the stitches do. And almost a little bit more well-defined. It really does. You can like single out each individual stitch. Um, I also, when I did these today, I did these two with the yarn under as well. And I've got to say, I'm just, I think I'm a yarn under girly now. Oh my goodness. So there's a thing. I'm a little bit slower, obviously. You know, because I'm not used to doing the yarn under, but not just neg negligible the amount of time it takes me to do the yarn under instead of the yarn over. I mean, it's really not that big a difference. And once you get going and once you do it for a while, I mean, there's really, it, it just becomes sort of second nature. I had a hard time before when I went to yarn under and did that for a piece, switching back as well. So, I mean, it's not that big a deal. Um, but tell me down in the comments, do you yarn over or do you yarn under? And what do you think of, of them? Do you go back and forth? I don't know. Because I was going back and forth there for a minute, but now I kind of think, kind of think I might be a yarn under girly. Anyways, that's going to be it for me for tonight. I made, let's see, 70, 105, $145 worth of stuff today because I do the dragons. I think I put them up at 35 and then my possums at that size are 20. So that is what I made tonight. I, I want to try to keep it at or above $100 in, in inventory each day that I'm only doing like part-time stuff um, for the crochet part. But yeah, I'm going to count that as a win. I count that as a win. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. What up besties? So it is 935. I just got done stuffing these three chicken bodies. I will finish them off tomorrow. I still have a couple of chicken bodies over here. My desk is an absolute nightmare of a wreck. Um, but tonight, which is Sunday, I did five sharks and two axolotls. Um, I spent most of my day doing sublimation for convention prep, so I didn't I didn't have a whole lot of time to do much else, but I wanted to hit at least the $100 mark today, and these two are $20 each, so that is $40, and these are $12 each, so five of them make $60, and we hit the mark. Hey, besties. What's up? So, it is Wednesday, the 28th of February, and I've got to show you the things that I finished up um, last night and the night before because I didn't get a chance to show you guys. So I've got a purple chicken, a white and purple chicken, some 
sort of speckled chickens. This is white, purple, and like a gray green. Um, you've seen their bodies already. And then the blue, green, cream, and brown chickens. So we've got six chickens. We've got a mint cow. Isn't that cute? And um, I have two fish. I think I might have left one of the fish inside. There's a blue one. Um, I don't know if I've shown these. Probably did, but I just haven't put these into um, fish tanks yet. Um, and then here are the little froggos that are going to go into the froggo tanks. So I've got five of them right now. This is um, the lime green in Parfait Chunky. And then the two lighter color ones are um, an Adora Ball I had, a Baby Bee Adora Ball. Um, but I don't remember the color day. And then the last thing that I have to show you, because I just had to make one of these, is the poppin' frog in a lily pad. I don't know. I just had to make one because it was freaking adorable. So we've got a poppable frog in a lily pad. And that is all that I managed to get done. I'm probably not going to do a whole lot tonight because I am getting things ready to pack tomorrow into the trailer. Um, I may do it. Oh, that's not all. That's not all. Last night. Last night I made these guys. <laughs> I made a third one, but somehow bust him. So here's two. Um, this one is the first one that I made. This one is in Parfait Chunky. And this one is in um, Sweet Snuggles Light, which is probably how I'm going to make them, is using Sweet Snuggles Light. Um, here's his little legs. This is a pattern I just came up with. Um, I am probably going to post it, um, post it for my patrons. So, yeah. Here we go. Isn't he freaking adorable? Boop, 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 boop. Um, I've been excited about that. I squealed so hard when my package came yesterday in the mail with my, with my things in it. Um, I will link it, um, with the pattern, obviously, um, so that you can go find them in the same place that I did, um, and have your very own little things. I, if I do make something tonight, I do want to make a little whale, um, with one of these. And I'm not sure what else, but I definitely want to make a little wheel with this. So I may do that tonight. That might be my focus. Any hoops, that is what I got done. We've only got one more day in the month for what I crocheted. I am, I am a busy, busy bee. I've got a ton of stuff to do today. So I am going to get, get started with that. And I'll give you the final update for February tomorrow. Okay, what's up besties? It is several weeks later. I'm done with all three of my conventions. It is the 19th of March and I am editing part two of the video and realizing that I didn't sign off for part two of the video. So I think this video has a total of 72 plushies in it. I didn't count the first one, but I will count the first one and I will put it in the description box as to how many that I got done because I know some people were asking. Um, it was nowhere near the number I needed to get done, but that's okay. I also want to say there's probably not going to be a long What I Crocheted in March video because literally up until today, everything that I have crocheted for March has been pretty much at convention or in a rush just before convention and I didn't film any of it. So, and then it's all sold. So yeah, I've got no idea how much I crocheted in the beginning of March. I'm crooked, we're crooked. Um, it has been a, a very long month and a half. 
<laughs> a very, very long month and a half, but rewarding. So I just wanted to, to close out and say all of those things. If you made it to the end of this video, put a huge purple heart line in the comments. That would be fantastic. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Come here and say hey to Bubby. Hi, Bubby. Oopsies. Hi, Bob Bops. Um, put a little doggy emoji too for butt bops. For butt bops who did fantastically well at conventions. But we'll talk more about that. Oh shit, there you go again. What are you doing? Are you drunk? Anyways, <laughs> um, he did such a good job. But that's okay. We're going to talk about that in the convention vlogs that are coming up. There's going to be three of them for you shortly. I am editing videos like a crazy person. Um, I love your faces so much. Hit that thumbs up button if you found this video at all helpful. We will see you in the next one. I love your faces so much. You're tipping over again. Here we go. You're tipping. You're, you're actively tipping over. I'm going to need you to talk to somebody about this drinking problem that you have. All right. So, anyways, I love your faces. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.